and Danny haven't sparred in a long time, but Danny hits hard. So I'm, but and then Canelo is the only person that hit me with a body shot that made me in the sparring go. <laughs> he made me do that. So you feel me? Like okay, they who, both got some power. Faster hands. I'm gonna go Danny. Better footwork. I'm gonna go Danny. Ring IQ. I'm gonna go Canelo now. Better defense. Danny. Better trash talker. They both don't. I I need, neither, they, neither one talk. They both, they both yeah. very respectful. You can yourself. Uh, hey, me, me. <laughs> no, I mean, but yeah, I'm definitely excited about but the fight. But that's a 50-50 uh, fight, right? Yeah, I hope, I hope the judges see the fight fair. And I mean, like, if Danny's the better man, make Danny the winner. That's you said, obviously you said you haven't sparred Danny in a long time. Yeah. How recent were you and Ken with Canelo? Uh, the long, that was for the Kirkland fight, so that was a while ago too. And I think he's gotten so much better since then. So, like I said, I'm very interested in the fight. But I will say, when I was sparring Danny back in the days, the entire camps, I've never really felt like I beat Danny up. It's always like either good work or Danny got the better. As opposed to when I was in camp with Canelo, I feel like I got the better of the work. No disrespect to Canelo because he's a beast, but I feel like I got the better of the work. Styles make fights though, so that doesn't mean anything. You know what's crazy about you? You spar people 47, 54, 60, 68. I spar everybody. 75. I spar Floyd. This past year, seriously, this past year I've been in Floyd's camp, Chris camp, David Lemieux. Um, Jose Benavides Jr. Jose Benavides Jr. David Benavides. And, um, David Benavides. Like, I've been, I've been with everybody, man. So, I'm just ready for hey, my time. Hey, they all love now. you, though. They all say great things about you. Thank you. Because I try to, like, I, I really try to be an honest person. In, in, whether I'm in your camp, or I don't lie for media, nothing. Like, okay. I'm just real. When I first met you, who did I confuse you with? Oh, Curtis Steve. Oh, yeah, Curtis is who's you my guy. So, no, I don't. I get, I get Adrian a lot, unfortunately. Because no, of the beard. No. I agree. I agree. He ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people where to follow you if they watch. Oh, definitely follow me on Instagram at Mama's Boy underscore Dennis. Follow me on Twitter at the Mama's Boy. Facebook Dennis Dugman. Just follow me. Do it. Yeah, he's Thank in shape. Ready to go? My one of my final questions. Okay. Uh, you've been in camp with Sean Porter as well. Of course. Oh yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, yes. that's your guy. Yes. He's coming up in a big fight, Earl Spence. And you know I'm in the camp for that. Of yeah, course. Yeah, you're in the camp for that. Of course. What does obviously I know you fans know who you're rooting for now. So what does Sean? What's keys to victory? For an Earl Smith victory. Um, I think it's gonna be a great fight because Sean's not laying down for anybody. So I think it's going twelve rounds. Um, Earl hits hard, really hard, and um, I think Sean just has to stay busy, stay on top of him, make it ugly. Like it can't be a, a boxing man. He can't try to box him. Like just be a bullet, which he's gonna do. He breaks people down mentally. If you look at the Andre Berto fight, Sean broke him down mentally. Like he just didn't want to be in there anymore, and that's kind of what he's gonna do with Earl. But Earl has a, I think a. More tenacity in Alberto, so it's gonna be a great fight. But of course, I'm rooting for Sean. Man, I knew Sean since I, we were 17, so once we were 17, so that's my guy, man. But Arrow is great, Arrow's a beast, so it's gonna be a great fight. I can't wait for it. And the other side of the final four, we have uh, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao. Um, is that happening? They so, said July 20th here. Here wow. in Vegas, uh, wow. to get rid of the bullshit WBA belt, okay, and have one final one. Um, how do you see that play out? I think we just no disrespect to Manny. We just got an older Manny. I think he's past his, he's past his prime, and that makes a difference. Um, like again, like I was just in camp with Floyd for his exhibition, and he's still great, but he's past his prime. Like I mean, I think that's the same thing that my Manny's at. Like he's just older, so I'm gonna go with Keith, man. Like Keith. I mean, did you, did you see his last fight, though, because, I mean, Jose I Cito gave him hell. Jose Cito did. But Jose Cito was a beast, though. He gave a lot of people hell that they didn't think he was. Like, Jose, but I, everyone you know, slept him. On paper, though, on paper, you know, there was supposed to be a tune-up. On paper, for a lot of people, Tevin Farmer was supposed to be a tune-up until they got in a ring with him and he beat them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that means nothing. Records don't mean anything. You're, like, you're fighting a man. Um... And Jose Cito was a fighter. You know what I'm saying so. Sure. I think that was I think that was a good comeback fight for Keith to get. I mean, to get good work. A little get, bit yeah. But I, I think he's he's only gonna go up from there. For sure, for sure. And Manny's on his way down slowly. And Manny's still a great Hall of Fame fighter. Definitely nothing but respect for him. But I just think you fight. You got a fighter that's coming up. You've got a fighter coming down. I'm gonna give it to Keith. Uh, you just threw me a lot or threw us a lot. Okay. How was camp with Floyd? Because obviously, hey, people gonna say, why didn't you ask him about the Floyd? How was Floyd uh, camp? So this is, and I don't want to shout out to Floyd. Floyd's a big brother to me. Um, and one thing I, I respect about Floyd is he he's a worker. Like people don't think this about him. People think he takes everything for a game. Floyd busts his ass for anything. If it's an exhibition, he's training hard. Like he he tries to act like he's he's not. He says he doesn't. But that man works hard, man. He's, he's definitely a, a true professional. So camp was great. Watch, just watching him work as an older man that doesn't need this. Still, he'll be out 3 o'clock in the morning, then go to the gym after that. No drinking, no smoking. Still, like, the man is just a true professional, a true goat to me. No breaks, no water. Man. For me, I was just bigger than him. So I'm like, get off me, little nigga. But, <laughs> but, but, yeah, man, the man is just a beast, man. He's a workhorse. Even at this age, like, 
Yeah. Still, he'll he'll take weeks off from the gym and then go in the gym and still do, like a crocodile. Yeah, and still do twenty minute rounds, ten minute rounds. Like it's just, he's really like a once in a lifetime kind of dude. How he's, many rounds y'all did? We did that? we did six and then one time sorry we did six and then I asked him all like come on let's go let's go. He's like all right. So like I said, it's, it's a mutual respect. I mean me and Flo, I, I have nothing but respect for him. And he did good. He looked great. He looked great now. So last thing, if you have one fight that you could have right now, who would be the one guy you really want to fight? You mentioned like fifty names, but narrow down. Benavidez. I want to fight Benavidez again because tell? again, we fought when we fought. I took the fight on short notice, and I still think I was his toughest fight. Like I don't think the Rondo fight was tougher than mine. I think that I was winning the fight up until I just gassed out. And then we sparred. I have like I said, nothing but respect for him, David He's a, good dude. He's a beast. He's a beast. But I'm a beast. So I want give me a camp. Let me fight you again. I've seen. I, I saw that sparring. I was fortunate to see. I think I saw either six or eight rounds with you guys sparring one day uh, last summer. And hell of a work. Yeah, man. Yeah, and uh, like I said, it's, it's a lot of love and respect. But yeah. again, because I think you're one of the best, I want to beat you. I want to fight you. I want to beat you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if I could pick anybody, it'd be David Benavides, 100%. So you stick to what you say. Next loss, you retire. Next loss, I retire. Next time I lose a professional boxing fight, I'm retiring from the sport. So come beat me and make me retire. That's it. It's that simple. That's it, mama's boy. Speaking of that, oh. how about the, the other side? The other side, how about uh, commentating and stuff like that? I would love to commentate. I actually was just talking to Sylvia about that earlier, joking. you like, if you guys need a commentator. You'd be great. You'd be I, I mean, great. shit. I, I, you're amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is my first time ever interviewing you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the sport. Outside of being in it, I, I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm a fan of boxing. I love watching fighters. Um, so, talking about it, I'm a historian with it too. I watch old fights, I, I study everything. Like, so, um, I would love to be a commentator. But it's going to happen eventually. I'm going to keep winning. They gonna, people are going to get to know me, and it's going to happen. I'm, well, you I'm, can do it simultaneous, simultaneous too. Yeah, oh, I'm trying to start a blog. I'm on everything. I'm my hands nah. on everything. I'm on everything. So, I'm looking forward to it, man. I feel real good about this year as far as my career goes. And the direction we're moving in, so just look out for me. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. Ooh. Before, before the Mikey Garcia fight, I was saying Terrence Crawford because we've only seen Earl do one thing, which is come forward, no real head moving, hands high, and break fighters down. But when I when he fought Mikey and he was behind the jab and setting stuff up and, and moving a little bit, stepping around, taking angles, I'm like. Arrow has so much more that he just doesn't have to do because he's so dominant. So now, I'm like, I don't know what that. You know what I'm saying like, I really don't know. But then in terms two, I was in camp with, with Jose Jr. and I'm not gonna lie, Jose can punch. So I'm like, I don't know. Like people sleeping on Jose in this terms score fight, but then he gets in the ring with Terrence, and Terrence is able to stop him. So that says a lot for but Terrence. He, Jose who? Benavidez. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, but but didn't he, he mess up? Yeah, but but I mean. He was essentially on one leg, and yeah, he got him. He got him with thirty seconds, forty seconds left in the fight. Yeah. So now, a lot of Jose people. Jose did his thing. He did his thing. Jose, and Jose can fight. He's strong, smart, great boxer. But I'm just saying that says a lot about Terrence for, to be able to dominate that fight or win that fight like that. So it's gonna be. It's it's what boxing wants, man. Terrence Crawford and Earl, man. I can't wait for that. It's gonna happen. Probably not this year, but it's gonna happen. So you didn't pick a winner. The fans are the winners. The fans are the winners, one hundred percent. Oh, you're close to both of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm actually. I don't know Terrence at all. I know Arrow, but um, I'm just like I said. Being a fan of the sport, it's hard to to pick a winner with that. Who's the ace high in that fight? Arrow. Arrow. Who's pound for pound right now? Pound for pound right now, number one. I'm gonna go with, and I'm gonna hear a lot about this. I'm gonna go with Lomachenko, although he hasn't accomplished. Bro, he's just so dominant to me. Like he's so good to me. But he has he hasn't beat he doesn't have the resume for it. I agree with you. He doesn't have the resume for it. But explain to us, you being a fighter, explain to us uh why why he's the A side. Why Spencer I just, the A side. Oh, why Spencer's yeah. A side? I mean, because this is what people gotta understand. Like Bob Aram got in the ring after Turn Scorpion's last fight and called out him and out and said we should ban out him. There's a one sixty eight guy waiting on you. Ah! What's up, baby? You know mama's boy? A little bit. He called everybody out. Everybody. Everybody. He's a cool dude. My dude, I hope nothing but the best. You already, you already, you already. You changed your number again, I think. No, hell no, you ain't text me. Hey, my, my, my game. I know. Video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash the Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Title, betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.